<laughs> Here we are. Welcome to another edition of <laughs> One, One Take, Take Old, old movie, movie Reviews. I'm Barbara. And I'm David. And today's movie is The Magnificent Seven. Awesome movie. 1960, Five stars. 1960 movie yep. with an all star cast. And an awesome theme. <laughs> Great like music. It. Uh, this is the second time, by the way, we've watched this film, yeah. and it was just as good the second time as it yeah. was the first time. Yeah. This, it stars Yul Brynner, yeah. Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, mm -hmm. Robert Vaughn, uh -huh. James Colburn, uh -huh. uh, Brad Dexter, Horst Buchholz, Eli Wallach, and so it has a an all-star cast. And from the very beginning, the first scenes in this movie. Yeah. I was I was really impressed. You're 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 really in the movie when you I mean when it comes on. The the uh, the the color, uh -huh. the music, the scenery, all from the very beginning of the movie, really grab you and take you into this movie. And it's it's an excellent story. It's a story about uh, some farmers, poor farmers in Mexico who were being continually, uh, periodically robbed of their harvest by a gang of marauders mm -hmm. and they have no way of uh, defending themselves and there's a scene where they're they've just been robbed and they all come out in the center of town and they're like we, we have nothing we you know we we're starving here and they come in and they come every year and they're taking and all i could think was that's kind of like socialism <laughs> anyway what what do we have to work for is what they were saying so anyway go ahead that <laughs> i forgot where i was i'm sorry they they come in to me oh yes and... they they go up north and they uh they they meet yule brenner and uh steve mcqueen in their roles they are drifters and uh they hire them to not only teach them how to shoot but to help protect their town from the marauding gang. Okay, now mark your place because we have to say what the first scene was with Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen. Were you going to go to that? Oh, go ahead. Oh, gosh. Okay, so there's this, the, this man wanted this Indian buried, you know, as a matter of respect for human race and this, the town won't let him bury an Indian in Boot Hill. Well, anyway, so the undertaker said, I can't do it. And he said, my driver of my hearse just quit. And so Yul Brynner steps up, says, well, if that's what's holding it up, I'll drive it. And, um, and then Steve McQueen turns around to a guy and says, can I borrow that shotgun? And then he climbs up as a shotgun. So they ride, you know, kind of slowly up to Boot Hill and the whole town's following them. Anyway, they get him up there and, um, Yul Brynner like shoots the gun out of two guys' hands and, and everybody else like slinks back, you know. So anyway, so that's how these little Mexican farmers saw these guys and met them and um they were uh, impressed they might be, yes. to get them to do yeah. their to do their work. So that yeah. a lot of the uh, the movie itself is a conflict between the the marauders who come back into town a couple times mm -hmm. uh, when uh, when the uh, the gang from the U.S. is there mm -hmm. training the uh, the local farmers, mm -hmm. and it's it's a very well well done film. Um, I don't know if you want to say anything else about the film. It was an instant classic, yeah. uh, according to one uh, critic that I, I read. But the surprising thing about the film is it it won a, an Oscar for music from Elmer Bernstein, who was the composer. Mm -hmm. uh, the the, uh, the ironic thing is that the film itself was not uh, nominated for a, an Oscar. Well, well, and we talked about this. There's this young guy who is following that hearse up there. You know, kind of, he's just walking behind the hearse with his hand on his gun, ready. And um, you know, Steve McQueen thought he might be an enemy, and and Yul Brynner says no. I think you're wrong, you know, anyway, so then, um, then these Mexicans come up and they, um, they're from Mexico, so they're Mexican, anyway, so they come up and they ask Will Brenner to come down and help them and get, you know, he says, well, it'll take more than one man, so he puts the word out, and while this young kid comes, the same young kid, and, um, 
you Brenner did a speed draw test or something with him and he you know humiliated the kid anyway so um anyway what what we noticed was how much a screen time that this kid got i mean he got more than anybody else didn't he yeah he was did. like a i mean he was like fearless this kid was wasn't he he was and he was a, a young german actor the the interesting part too was the the gang really just began with Ewell Brenner and Steve McQueen and went along the along the way they picked up the other members of their group. Yeah. Uh, Charles Bronson I think first and then James yeah. Colburn. Yeah. And then eventually Robert Vaughn mm -hmm. joined the group. And then another guy named Harry. Harry, what was his name? Brad Dexter. Brad Dexter. Yeah, he, he came at first but he was not in a lot of shots and stuff. He went, He didn't have a really big part. But This, I'm oh, sorry to interrupt, no. this okay. film was a jumping off point Yul Brynner mm -hmm. has already been a star, but it was really a jumping off point for McQueen, mm -hmm. Bronson, Colburn, and uh, Robert Vaughn. Mm -hmm. It really started their careers. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to tell about the conflict between McQueen yes. and Brynner? Well, the funny thing, one of the ironic things was that Yul Brynner had recommended Steve McQueen for the part that he played <laughs> in the movie, but there was a continuing... Um, what would you call friction between the two? So, yeah. I read where Yule Brenner was 5'10, Steve McQueen was 5'9 and a half. Yule Brenner wanted to always look a lot taller than uh, Steve McQueen, so he would build up, kick up a little dirt so that he was standing on a mound during the filming. And Steve McQueen, when, he, when they were doing retakes, he would kick the dirt out of the way. So, uh, so they yeah, you just see Steve level. McQueen really cool, you know, just walking over, kicking all that dirt out from under Mule Brenner. Anyway, I'm sorry. I also read somewhere else where later, quite later in life, these two reconciled and uh, became became friends again after this uh, long-standing dispute between them. Uh, something else I read that uh, Robert Vaughn was the very last member of the Magnificent Seven to pass away. He died in. Uh, November of 2016 at age 83. Oh, wow. You may remember him from the Wild Wild West. Robert Vaughn? He, uh, he would, no, not the Wild Wild West. He was like a secret agent, some kind oh, of a wow. secret agent. Who was that? Oh, that was... That was James... Uh... I thought it was Robert Vaughn. No. Oh, okay. Anyway, Vaughn recommended uh, mm -hmm. James Coburn also for his role in the movie because uh, Vaughn and Coburn were schoolmates. Oh! Cool. and friends so that was something else and also I read that the film was a box office failure in the US but it was a hit in Europe yeah so um, well it's a hit with us you guys so. also something else Yul Brynner was married on the set he was he was who, on who he married <laughs> and the last thing if you if you watch the movie and if you're old like us yeah you'll recognize the music which was yeah. used for many years it was used in Marlboro cigarette yeah. commercials. Yeah. So it was very, it's, it, it's, it's um, really, bum, bum, bum. really gets you kind of going. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. It's manly. It's manly music. It's good. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I gave it a five stars. It was five stars. It was worth it. If you've never yeah. seen a Western before, yeah, I would recommend you start with this. You'll love it. It's really a good show. It's yeah. well done. Yeah. The, the cinema, the cinematography is great. Yeah. Uh, it's all well done all the way through. I think you'll enjoy it. And there's an awful lot of trivia you can find out online about it, too. Yeah. These are a lot of stars. Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson. James Robert Coburn. Vaughan and James Coburn. Yeah. These guys. And Eli Wallach played the bad guy. Yes. So these guys are, are oh. well known. They're <laughs> we had to tell about his scene, his dying scene. It was like, it was like, it, after this story between McQueen and Brenner, it's almost like you can see that they're trying to one up each other. And I mean, it they died. I mean, Robert Vaughn's death scene was, <laughs> you know, very dramatic. And um, and this Eli Wallach, the one, <laughs> he was the bad guy. He was like, oh. oh like he fell like four or five times just to die you know it was kind of funny anyway so anyway that's <laughs> our review uh i hope you enjoy it um like i said it's the magnificent seven okay 1960 movie yeah what
watch it. <laughs>